Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a liquid following a path or a curve. Okay, let's start it. First, open up your blender, general, press A to select everything, X to delete. Go to the front view, we need to go to the edit. Preference, add-ons, add add-ons here, just type curve, and we need to install this add curve extra object. Save your preference, press shift A, curve then you can see we have another option here curve spiral and we're gonna select Archimedean over here down here curve spiral property click here we need to increase the height radius make it zero and radius grow probably something like this okay then Go to the object mode, press Shift A, mesh, add a cube, press Alt Z to see the extra view, press S to scale, scale it by 5 times, press GZ, move it up, and name this domain, press Shift A again, add icosphere, just put it down here, and then select our domain and spiral, change your pivot point to 3D cursor, press S to scale, something like this I guess. Your icosphere here, name this flow. Select your domain. Go to the physics property, add a fluid. Change to the domain. Domain here, change it to liquid. And down here, replay. Change it to all. Then select your flow here. Add a fluid. Change it to flow. Change this to liquid and geometry to include and the spiral here add a force field shape here change it to the curve then strength here change it to minus three go to our domain field wake here change gravity to zero and let's back hit the spacebar to play the animation as you can see the liquid is following the curve okay we can free all check this mess and let's try to bake it again And we can do also like border collision here we need to disable everything then if you want to make it more faster go to the select your curve here then basic property you can increase the strength here by minus 5 and bake all Let's see the result. Yeah, it's great. Then you can also increase the resolution, bake again. It will take a times to bake, but we are done here. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I guess it's too fast for me and I wanted to change the spiral here to maybe minus 3 is enough. Then we can also add a can or an object like this. Let's try to add a camera. Open another window here and go to the camera view. Okay. And maybe we need to adjust the camera. Yep. I'm gonna use 13 here. We can also add animation for our object here. The last, it should be maybe here. Insert location rotation. 
then GZ, put it down here, Alt R, location rotation. You can also add a fluid here and change it to a vector. Okay. Let's back again. We are done backing here. Let's see the result. Okay. That's pretty cool. And if you wanted to know how I crack this can, you can check out my other video. I will give you some tips. Select your domain here. Go to the file. Export. Alembic. Then over here select that object apply and export the lamp when we are done we can actually hide our domain then we can import our alembic this one Let's see. As you can see here, we have another domain. Then just enable this one. This one, yet we don't need this one also. Just this one. This Alembic file, we can scale this up or scale this down, rotate it or move it anywhere you want. Add a modifier, deform smooth corrective check the only smooth in my case here repeat this 26 scale is 1 it's enough i guess we can add a subdivision modifier yep save your project and then go to the shading tab new material transmission here let's make it one IOR 1.33 I guess and the roughness maybe just like this then the color A coffee color I guess yep that's it. Let's do render setup. Change the EV to cycle. I'm only using CPU. Over here, viewport shading. Color management here. Let's change to filmic. High contrast, maybe. Then let's set up. Shift A, like, area like, press GZ, put it here, scale this up, 100, I guess we are ready to render it and that's it guys thank you for watching